So why are so many visual effects companies going out of business? Because they're not being run like a business. We've demonstrated again and again that we can earn billions of dollars for other people. It would be nice to be, you know, earning some substantial chunk of that for ourselves. I'm disappointed, not in Rhythm and Hughes, but just in the business. You know, it's like the veil's been lifted, and this is what we married. You know, 2012 was a great year for movies. Hollywood shattered box office records with $10.8 billion in domestic sales. Uh, in fact, studio accountants have, have never had to work harder to prove nothing made a profit. It, it was interesting that the, at the moment in our history when the financials were the worst, we were winning an Academy Award for A Life of Pi. Oscar night was a blast, and of course, uh, the talk of the town is the 45 seconds and, uh, and the Jaws music. Sadly, Rhythm and Hughes is suffering se se severe financial difficulties right now. It's, I urge you all to remember. Bill gets, like, completely <laughs> jawsed off stage. It was emblematic of something that is wrong with this industry. It's been something that's been uh, developing in a negative way for a long time. The studios have gained so much leverage that they're able to get these international taxpayers to pay for their movie. God bless them how they figured that one out. But the second greatest con of Hollywood is getting the visual effects vendors to pay for their movie. Remember this is a fixed bid. You absolutely cannot charge us more than the fixed bid. We tried everything we could to avoid it, and then it all happened, you know, within 24 hours. We went bankrupt. Rhythm and Hughes isn't the only effects house where success has failed to avert crisis. Given these challenges, this is an emotional and worrying time for visual effects artists. A lot of people have been talking about it, and we'll see if this was the moment that caused future change. <laughs>